Hello and welcome, good evening, how you doing? Hope you're well, thank you for being here, as always. If you are brand new to the channel, I'm Larry, this is Parked Up Anywhere. We're usually in the car, but sometimes we'll move it into the house because it's cold and it's raining, so, you know. And the uh, batteries on cars, or in cars, they're just, they're very weak, they don't last very long, and yeah, that's one of those, one of the main things. Tonight, tonight, right. Um, Michelle Shaw, if you are a fan of my channel, then you probably already know that I'm actually a massive fan of Michelle Shaw's channel. Um, I love watching him, I love watching him hate on people. Um, you know, one day I'm sure he'll pick on me to hate me, and I love it. I love it already. But anyway, uh, forgetting that, tonight it's uh, he's brought out a freestyle against Grizzy Hendrix and Michael Bars. I've seen a couple of his videos on the Grizzy Hendrix, Michael Bars thing. I think they're, they're apparently they're friends or something, and then they started talking about Michelle Shaw. Um, so obviously, you know, Eugene's like, I'm gonna write a freestyle. So that's what he's gonna do. It's a five minute freestyle, white room freestyle. We're gonna check it out. Um, I don't think he's brought any other tracks out before. I may be wrong on that, I don't know, but we're gonna check it out. So here we go. No more talking, more watching. Let's do it. Have we recorded? Here we are. Here we go. Because he's good with his words when he's hating, you know what I mean? So let's let's see what he comes up with. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Oh, bitch ass niggas keep mentioning my name, nigga. Damn. Straight on that. It's like I'm fucking sweet or something, my nigga. Watch how I come back, back. spitting magic like God's son. Okay, for rappers trying to diss me and they flow, but ain't got none. Said you all talk, your hands don't move like your mouth run. I knock Grizzly off the driver's seat with a shotgun. Because obviously that's what Grizzly does. He sits in the car. Um, let's go. Run. I knock Grizzly off the driver's seat with a shotgun. I love the kill shots. Me losing, I can never see it happen. Feel like I'm watching Dumb and Dumber. Two clowns with an ass pin. Go ahead, try to jump me, because I've been ready for the act. <laughs> feels like I'm watching Dumb and Dumber. Two clowns with an ass pin. <laughs> Great movie, by the way. Great movie. One of my favorite movies of all time. And ass pen. Love that. Love the way he fit that in. That's nice. Let's Dumb go. And dumber, two clowns with an ass pin. Go ahead, try to jump me, cause I've been ready for the action. I let it Wait, sorry, what was what was wrong with Michael Bars? What's what's wrong with his face? Did he ass pin? Go ahead, try to jump me. Damn, son. I watched a I watched a movie recently called Cyborg. Say recently, I've rewatched it because I watched it ages ago. A movie called Cyborg with Jean Claude Van Damme in 1989. Right, there's a guy called Fender. Fender Tremolo or something like that. And yeah, just type in Fender Cyborg 1989 and then just, you know, tell me why I asked you to, to research, to search that. Anyway, let's go. Cause I've been ready for the action. I let it bang in your circle. It looked like a comic book caption. I'm tired of you nice guys. Michael Bars, I'm tired of your right eye. Uh-huh. Oh, you want to be... <laughs> Shit, I was trying. Oh my god, I was trying to be nice and shit. Do you know what I mean? I was trying to be nice and not make it personal, but this is brilliant. He's straight up in that right eye. Love it, love it. Hey, Eugene, let's go, bro. Be unique looking. That's a nice try. Fuck out of here. Oh, half hops and half grasshopper. Except you wouldn't even heard a fly. Hopson, nice. That's a good. That's a good metaphor. Nice try. Fuck out of here. Oh, half hops and half Parson. grasshopper. Good. Except you wouldn't even heard a fly. You too sweet. You even laugh, prosy boy. We got an African dick riding the Asian. Give it up for the new representation of the United Nations. Wow. Don't like to combat mortals because of casualties. You and Grizzy friendship then caused a fatality. fatality. You boys just rap. You ain't worried about fat sex. I put the ink to my I was honestly I was just about to say that even though Michelle Shaw's um flow isn't the best, like I, again I'm 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 impartial to this, even though I love his channel, his flow isn't the best. However, however, that doesn't really matter as much if he's spitting facts and actually going in against these guys. You know what I mean? I heard Grizzy's diss to Easy Mill. It I don't want to say trash, right? Because it, I've heard worse, but it wasn't good. It wasn't good, and this is this is how you're supposed to really diss someone. You're supposed to go at them personally, layeth the smack at them. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm not going to get into that. But so yeah, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. 
my pad. pad. I ain't worried about tax. I tell Michael like I told Keto. What you tell him? It's gonna be a bunch of flowers at your crib. When I get finished with the brat, I don't even like rapping. When I finished with the brat, nice. Ain't quit cause of talent. Cause I quit cause it took away from shit I took for granted. I had to get a balance instead of wasting time. time. Now I'm on my grind. grind. This is exactly how I planned it. You put your heart into it. He's got he's got this like little snoop thing going on with his voice in this uh, in these like couple of lines here. Took away from shit I took for granted. I had to get a balance instead of wasting time. 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 You know what I mean? It's got that snoop twang to it. I love it. Now I'm on my grind. grind. This is exactly how I planned it. You put your heart into it and still flopping. You can't even crack a thousand a song and you still dropping. Dummy. Speaking of dropping. You no longer signed and you ain't booked. So I get it now. Easy meal fit niggas that can't cook. I tried to let that shit be. It's gonna take more than y'all pussies to beat me. And when I'm through, let the rest know. To keep they chest low. Or I'm waving arms at your back up. That's a breaststroke. Really? Nice. You trying flex, bro? Put your best song up. If I tried to take it serious, I would have been blown up. Rhyme schemes on creatine. This shit been in my jeans. I was a protein. You still an amateur grown up. I know you heard. I ran. Still in my jeans. Could he have something to do with his name being Eugene as well? Was that like a little play on thing as well? That's nice. If it is, that was really nice to be fair. And even, yeah. Restro, really? You trying flex, bro? Put your best song up. If I try to take it serious, I would have been blown up. Rhyme schemes on creatine. This shit been in my jeans. I was a protein. You still an amateur grown up. I know you heard. I ran. I ain't forgot about the shot. The only lube that I use is for polishing my Glock. First you was talking shit, and now you switching up the plot. The nice stuff, just stop. You can never trick the fox. Don't forget about STV. Oh, you still. All right, just a couple of things on there, right? The whole Ren thing, fair enough. He had to, he had to address it. It's again, it's not like I'm going to be offended. I like Ren. That's fair enough. I made that clear. But again, it, Michelle Shaw had to respond back to to that line from Ren with the whole loop thing. Do you know what I mean? Which is fair enough, and he did love it, love it. STV, on the other hand, that guy is the corniest. He's that guy. That mop corny. Cor do you know what I mean? He's like the green giant type stuff. Again, in the UK, we put corn in the green giant tins. That they're only about this big, so <coughs> so STV. Honestly, bro, like, oh shit. I, I don't. Again, I don't want to make it personal because I've got nothing personal against him. I don't know the guy, but that track that he put out, dear Easy Mill, bro, you need to you need to delete that. Put that shit on private, bro. And I was reading through some of the comments as well um, from that from that video, which was a month ago, and. One of the guys, someone commented saying, oh, quit or something. And literally, STV's response back was, huh, taking advice from someone who's got 27 subs. It's like, bro, we're not, right, we're reactors, we're content creators, okay? That is literally the lowest thing that you could say to someone. These are your viewers, bro. That guy is a viewer at the end of the day. He gave you a view. 27 subs, one sub, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That guy subscribed to you or watched your video or cared about it enough to comment. So you can't be going out there going, oh, you've only got two subs. What do I care about you? Bro, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How easy would it be from every single rapper that or every single artist that we criticize or, you know, critique, if you will? How easy would it be for them to be like, oh, I've got two million subs, man. I don't need you. I don't need your words. But it doesn't work like that. So I, I found that very childish, to be fair. But anyway, let's go. Let's see what he has to say about STV. The nice stuff, just stop. You can never trick the fox. And that's... That's another one as well, like with Ren. Obviously, he switched it up at the end. He was like, oh, go check out his stuff. Uh, go ch uh, who was it? King Dotter. Go check out King Dotter's stuff, blah, blah, blah. You know, this is all nice. And, but, yeah, it's a battle rap at the end of the day. But here we go. Get about STV. Oh, you still want to spar S? You scared to look in the camera. you never be a star S. My hate for you is OP. And I'm good at what I do. So all I did was follow Q. You know who you are, S. Ooh. This battle rap shit mean a lot to me, S. And if you feel the same way, what you got for me, S? Go. We can fight. Ain't no stopping me. I'm telling you right now, I heard S's uh, rhymes and... Me, S. I got a gun so big, the trigger look like an apostrophe, S. What you smiling for, Grizzly? Ain't done with you. You lost the daughter and Michael. To me, you owing two. Oh, shit. Let me guess, you lost the Merkums too. Yep. Besides screaming in a car, I have yet to see what you can do. Just I agree. I agree. And that whole stuff that Grizzly's got in his car with the whole high pitch thing, I don't know what the hell that is. That is, you know, whatever, man. It's not good. It really isn't good. I watch some of Grizzly's videos. I can't watch them anymore because of that. Because <coughs> of that. Um... Oh, God, I need choked on that. <coughs> wow. 
um, yeah, chalk itch, bunk right, it's whatever it is, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, you need to stop with the high pitch, bro. If you're not a chipmunk, um, just get better audio. <laughs> Talking two punks who think they headed to the top. Mike with <coughs> one eye. I know you paying Fetty for the wop. I'm tired of speaking on what I might do. You know, I'm in the ring again. It's fair game, bitch. Welcome to the white room. My nigga I don't even have to rhyme Living off my old reputation I'm a mastermind How can you capture the king? You can't even pass the pawn I was looked over past the pawn Mama, daddy, and I passed the line I'm past Wait, wait, wait though Wait though, wait though My guy just switched up his flow like that Switched up his flow like What? Sorry, two seconds What is this one? One of the foam One of the foam pads has fallen off from the back That's I'm, I'm thinking what is that soft thing on the back Anyway My guy just switched up flows Hey, my nigga, I don't even have to rhyme. Living off my old reputation, I'm a mastermind. How can you capture the king? You can't even pass the pawn. Nice. I was looked over past the pawn. Mm. Mama, daddy, and a How can you be king when you can't pass the pawn? I've been passed upon. Very nice. Very nice. Let's just go back real quick. Mine. How can you capture the king? You can't even pass the pawn. I was looked over past the pawn. Mama, daddy, and a pass the line. I'm nice. past the line. My bitch bad, though, that ass and nine. That's ass and nine. Black. Mama, daddy, and I passed the line. I'm past the line. My bitch bad, though that ass and nine. That's ass and nine. Black power, pitch a master dine. Last night I had the morph on him. I hit a new power when the mask. <sighs> wait, though, wait, though, wait. Bruh, hold on. Over past the pond. Mama, daddy, and I passed the line. I'm past the line. My bitch bad, though that ass and nine. That's ass and nine. Black power, pitch a master dine. Mas Black power, master dine. Master dine. <sighs> Last night I had the morph on him. I hit a new power when the mask get on. Ain't. I don't need to explain that. Got I don't need to explain pass that. Was mine. Wait until I put the pen and pad up to start sending me shots. Now I'm back at it and spinning the block. Fast rewind. Back in time to get the shit off my mind. Should have killed slime. Tried to let the nigga slide. You can charge us to my pride. Now I'm driving through the whole west side. Bet I can get away with homicide. Heavy caliber, the force of a sports car. I never dodge challenges. The gap metallic. I'm playing Gallagher. Shots from all angles coming after That's you. Proper etiquette. Certain discipline I feel was too <clears> delicate. <throat> yeah, I'm petty, but I'm never irrelevant. Sensitive niggas get it for the hell of it. <gasps> Ego bigger than the elephant. <gasps> if I feel a certain way, I'm Never Ego bigger than an elephant. <laughs> Hold up. Heavy caliber, the force of a sports car. I never dodge challenges. The gap metallic. I'm playing gap. Hold up. Hold up. I'm trying to let the nigga slide. You can charge us to my pride. Now I'm driving through the whole west side. Bet I can get away with homicide. Heavy caliber, the force of a sports car. I never dodge challenges. The gap nice. metallic. I'm playing Gallagher. Shots from all angles coming after That's you. Proper etiquette. Certain discipline I felt was too delicate. Yeah, I'm petty, but I'm never irrelevant. Sensitive niggas get it for the hell of it. Hey. Ego bigger than the elephant. Hey. If I feel a certain way, I'm never staying silent. So what I say private, I say in public. Brian, what I say public, I say in private. Next rapper mentioned Eugene name. That'll be a catastrophic situation. Hell yeah, I'm about to get impatient because I've been waiting. Send a couple invitations. I'm never cooperating with at least 98% of all population. Bitch, you done ran into a typhoon. Welcome to the white room. Welcome to the white room. Hey, it's just a warning shot, man. I love it. I never get love it. Nigga, I'm not a rapper. I ain't rapped in five years. I'm rusty. Imagine what I could do. Hey Grizzy, I ain't got no real beef with you. Stop being friendly with these niggas, man. Fuck them. You had edge when I first met you, nigga. You come back, I'm coming back. I'm better than you. And from what I heard from Michelle's show here, yes, I agree. I think he is. He's got better bars than Grizzy. And from what I heard from Grizzy, I, I, I'm just going from that, from a couple of songs that I've heard from him, and the latest one, obviously being the, well, the latest one. The latest one I heard was the Easy Meal this. That guy never switched flows once. Not once did he switch flows. And I said, halfway through this video, I said, oh, well, Michelle Shaw doesn't have the best flows, but he's got the facts. And then he goes and adds the flow with the facts. And it's like, ah. So yeah, and I love the fact that obviously, not a rapper, but YouTube rapper sort of thing. And he didn't fall for that lyrical miracle crap that everyone's going with, like the crypts and, and the Knox Hills. And you know, and he didn't go and copy another artist or a big artist uh what's it called um, song title you know who you are knox help so hey look i enjoyed that and like i said i've got 
nothing personal against any of these guys. Grizzly, Michael Bars, don't know who they are. So, but I, like I said, I like Michelle Short, and I have I do follow his videos. So, um, I had to see what it was about, and I'm I'm glad that I didn't have to say anything, you know, awful about it. It was actually really good, um, considering the fact that he said he hasn't rapped in five years. I think that's pretty good. And yeah, he's right. Imagine what he can do if he sat down and actually wrote something proper against these guys. So I look forward to it. I really want to be here when that happens. You let me know your thoughts. And uh, I'm going to go. Catch you in the next one. Until then, stay safe. Stay alert.